Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kirsten and we are on a moving journey. So last week I posted a video where I toured three of the units that I'd be choosing from and I wanted to give you an update on which of the three I ended up going with. But first I wanted to give a little background of the criteria that I was thinking of when looking at apartments and what some of the things I really wanted were because I don't think I really went over that aside from me wanting to be in a one bedroom. So the first thing that I really was hoping for was a kitchen island or at least a space with a large enough kitchen that I could buy my own kitchen island and insert it there. That was the first thing I thought of just because I really like to film videos for you all and I don't think I utilize my kitchen a lot in my videos since it is so hard to film in the tight space. Having a larger kitchen or one that had a kitchen island would just make it so that I could film more cooking videos for you and things like that. So ideally the new space would have a kitchen island. The second thing that I was also looking for was a washer dryer in unit. I think I've been spoiled with my little studio apartment because I did get a washer dryer in this space and it's just made such a difference. And I think once you have it, it's so hard not to anymore. So I was really hoping for a washer dryer in unit, but I was told that the building had a community laundry space. So it was fine if I really didn't have one in the unit, but it is something that just would have been nice. The third thing that I was keeping in mind when looking at these spaces was closet space. I really wanted an apartment with ample closet space because I currently have two full closets and one washer dryer closet which I do utilize to store other things and I already feel like I'm outgrowing that space. I think especially with a studio, closets are used a lot for storage so I felt like I really wanted an apartment that had at least two closets and three would be preferable. Now with all that being said, when I went to look at the units, Pretty much every unit had something that I would have to compromise on. So with the first unit, it had that big kitchen, but then didn't have a washer dryer. The second unit had ample closet space, but didn't have the kitchen set up and was also the smallest of the three. And then the third unit only had one closet. So it just wasn't in the cards for me to have everything that I wanted. And I feel like in New York, when you're looking at apartments, there's always compromise somewhere. So I had to think about what I would be willing to compromise on and what was kind of a deal breaker for me. Now, without further ado, we can go ahead and run the clips of my empty apartment tour and then I'll come back on and just explain a bit about my search process and how I found affordable housing in New York City. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is really exciting because I'm going to my new apartment and I finally get to show you guys what my unit looks like. I will give you a full empty apartment tour, so let's head over to my new apartment. Are you guys as excited as I am? Because I'm just in a mood where I'm feeling really excited about being in a larger space, I think that's something that I've been a little nervous about because I did really appreciate starting off in this space, but I'm also really treasuring the new memories that I'll have in my new apartment. So I appreciate you all coming along with me and let's get over to my new apartment. We are officially in my apartment. So I thought I'd just give you an empty apartment tour and share which of the units I picked. Well, really I picked the first unit, but it like got taken within an hour of me viewing it. So I ended up choosing the third. So if you guessed three, then you got it right. We're in the third unit now. So it's got a similar layout to my current studio with the galley style kitchen and kind of little entryway here. I might do a little console table here. Not sure about that. Here is the phone where I can call downstairs. She's got a doorman now, <laughs> so we're upgrading. And then we can start walking into the rest of the space. This wall here is like an extra wall where I plan on putting the current Hubbit mirror that I have from Ikea. I think it'll fit perfectly. And then the fridge is kind of off to the side, which just extends this hallway. So I am planning on getting a bistro style dining table or something like that because as many of you have pointed out, I don't have a table in my studio. <laughs> Everyone's always concerned about where I eat, so I will have a place to eat. And then this is the living space. It's pretty small, but we're gonna make it work. I'm gonna get new furniture, new space, new me. This is what we're working with. We've got a little view, but we'll save that for later. And then if you head over here, we've got the washer dryer closet. 
It's actually the same exact washer dryer set that I currently have, so I'm familiar with this, which will be great. And then we have a sliver of space on the side so I can, you know, do my little storage stuff over there. We can go ahead and head into the bathroom, which I really love. It's pretty simple. But as you can see, it's got this huge mirror that spans almost this entire wall. And plenty of space on the side here for a plant or anything that I want. And then I have a tub. My current apartment doesn't have a tub, so this will be nice if I ever want to take baths. have this cute little ledge here for storing my soaps and everything else. So yeah, that's the bathroom. Let's head into the bedroom. Okay, so again, it's a pretty small space and don't mind your coats here. We have the only real closet in the entire apartment, which is a pretty small one, but we're gonna have to make do. I'm gonna figure out ways to hang my things and maybe do that double hanging that I have in my current space. And I will have space off to this side for maybe a dresser or something else. I checked in with the guy who showed me the space and he said I should be able to fit a queen size bed in here. We just did the measurements and it should fit, but it's gonna be pretty tight for sure. Just because the width of this room is like eight feet, I think. Of course, this unit is still bigger than the current place that I'm living in. So that is everything, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little empty apartment tour. I will keep you updated on the moving process. I've got some moving vlogs coming up. So thank you for following along in my journey. I'm really excited about this next opportunity. Okay, now that you've seen the apartment tour, I will go ahead and talk a bit about my search for affordable housing in New York City. If you are a New Yorker, you might know about something called the New York Housing Connect Lottery which is basically a website online that has a bunch of new builds, new condos, new luxury apartment buildings that have a certain amount of units set aside for this housing lottery. These units are typically more affordable than the market rate price and are income based. So you can have rentals for as low as $500 all the way up to 3K plus. After I created a profile on the website, I pretty much went ahead and applied for any building that I qualified for and have been applying for the last three years now. So it is an extensive process. It does take a while, but in the long run, I think it is worth it because these units tend to be rent stabilized. While they're not always affordable per se, because it is still New York City, they are rent stabilized, so your rent won't increase too much over the years. I think I applied for the building that I was accepted for for about eight to nine months ago and they only contacted me about two months ago to submit my supplemental documentation. One tip that I really recommend if you're going through this process is to have all of your documents together before applying for these apartments. They're gonna ask for things like your tax return forms from the year prior, your W-2 forms, proof of employment, your checking account statements, your savings account statements, copy of your photo ID, they want it all. So just have that all in a folder on your desktop ready to go so that when they do contact you, you're ready to just submit all of those documents right away. I think I submitted everything within 24 hours of receiving that email saying that they thought I qualified, they wanted to move forward with the next step. This part is very important just because there is a deadline to submitting all of these materials and if you miss the deadline, they're moving on to the next applicants. So you really don't want to miss it. You want to make sure that you have everything all together. That way it's just an easy process from there forward. After I submitted my documents, they had to look through everything and determine if I did qualify and then they reached back out for me to do a tour of the three units. They pretty much just showed me those three layouts that I showed in my last video. I didn't really get a choice to see any of the other floor plans that I found online because they have specific apartments that are available through the housing lottery. After that, I emailed them to select the apartment that I wanted. Of course, I then found out that that one was already taken, so I had to go through with my second choice, and then they submitted my application to HPD. I'm not really sure what that stands for, but I imagine it's housing something department. And then from there, I had to wait five to seven days to find out if I got accepted. So while it took years, I feel like everything happened at the right time. My lease for this place was about to end in the summer anyway, so I just feel like 
things lined up as they were supposed to and I'm really excited to go ahead and start this next phase of my life. I'm currently in this little corner blocked off because I have boxes everywhere. So you'll be seeing that coming very soon. As always, thank you so much for watching. I will catch you in my next video. Bye.